water pouring into a church is dealing the place a second punch in the gut. It's an off-Broadway theater company which has already been closed because of the pandemic. Despite this new setback, the staff is adamant the show must go on. CBS 2's Christina Fan reports from the Upper East Side. Ten months after the pandemic closed the York Theatre Company, this is the devastating sight crew members return to see. General Manager Aaron Sims overcome by feelings of despair when he unlocked the doors the first time since last March. It was a mixture of water and mud, which made it absolutely terrible. Uh, I mean, it looked like a swamp uh, because of the water and mud, uh, and it was caked on all the carpets. City officials say a water main break on Lexington Avenue last week caused the flood. The water first entered the sanctuary of St. Peter's Church, then poured into the basement of the building where the theater is housed. We spent several days last week peeling wet script pages apart, trying to save them, because some of them are uh, things that we have rediscovered or brought back to life and are not readily available. It's a race against time now to rescue the theater's 50-year history before mold sets in. Workers have been frantically disassembling wires and lights, packing up props and costumes for storage so a remediation team can begin work. The floors will have to be redone. The stage will have to be rebuilt. Despite all the hardships, the York Theatre Company is determined to reopen. Whenever and wherever that may be, the company is hoping to rely on the generosity of the local community. We have no intention of going out of business. If they can, give us a hand, you know, because if ever there was a time that we need live performance, live arts, and that notion of being together, it's now. For now, the York is supporting itself by putting on a series of virtual shows and starting an online donation campaign, preparing for the day the curtain will rise again. On the Upper East Side, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News.